today's video. This is Carson Lomax from Prentice Works, and today we are going to go through uh, the different field types and the data types that are associated to creating a custom field. So the first thing that we want to do is select the gearbox up here and go to the advanced settings. This will take us to the back end of the CRM where we can create customizations and customize the system. To make things easy, we're just going to go into the account entity and select fields right here. And here you're going to see a huge list of the out of the box fields. And so if we want to create new ones, we come up here and select new and we'll expand this. And as you can see here, this is, a, this is where you can edit the display name so you can create it however you want. Um, over here you can create it as optional or business recommended or business required. That way if you are requiring people to fill out this information, they won't be able to move on unless they do so. And here you will see the schema name auto populate when you put in the display name. And so down here as this data type, this is where you can configure what type of field that you want to create. So here we have our list of options. The single line of text is your basic default um, option for uh, creating a new field. This will be able to have any sort of alphabetic values or numeric as well. Your option set, you can come in here and create as many option sets as you'd like. And as you click on one, you come over here to adjust it. So for example, we can do January and obviously as you can tell you can keep going so on and so forth and you will see that they, you can continue to change those add remove you can even you know switch the order after you create those next you have the multi select option set the only difference with this is that once it's published on the front end you can you can select multiple so if you want to you know, let's say you want to select three months out of the year, instead of just being limited to selecting one, you could select however many with the multi-select option set. Come up here to the two options. Your default values are going to be your yes and no. Um, you can also change it to a checkbox that you can click. Um, but if you don't want to see yes or no, you can come over here and you can see right here it's, it says yes or no, but you, then you can edit which value comes in. So let's say if you'd like to do active and inactive, you can simply just change it like that. And there you have it. You can change that to option to whatever will best fit your needs. Right here is your default value. So you can change what it says right when you go to the field. If you want it to automatically say inactive or active, you can just change that right there. Next you have your whole number. Um, this is pretty basic, you know, any sort of numeric value that you want without any decimals. Um, and you can change the minimum or maximum value of that. The floating point number, um, this will allow you to create um, any sort of number with up to five decimal points. And then the decimal number will allow you to create any number value with up to 10 decimal points. So however accurate, accurate of a number that you uh, will best need, you can be able to use those different options right there. Your currency, this is obviously gonna be your money type of fields. And again, you can change your minimum or maximum values. And your multiple lines of text, very similar to the single line of text. Um, but if you'd like a longer use for like a description or anything like that, you can use the multiple lines of text, your date and time fields. Um, if you would only like to see date, you can come here to the behavior and choose date only. That way you don't have to select a time if you, that's not something that you'd like to see. And then you have your lookup fields. Um, these are very neat to use, especially if you'd like to pull back different information and associate um, records to any type of other information that you're seeking. So let's say you'd like to you know, look up to a contact, you go there and select any type of your um, records right there. 
And so that is a basic overview of the most generic and most commonly used type of fields. Um, obviously we didn't cover all of them, but if you'd like there's a description or there's a link in our description um, in this video that you can find more information on on Microsoft's page and if we didn't answer any of your questions please leave any below or visit that website um, in that link and thanks for watching our video and continue to use CRM.